Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to continue on with all these side quests. Hopefully, we can finish them up today, but let's not hold our breath. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First spot we're going to go is right over here to Tabor. Welcome, welcome. Of course. Take care. My lord, your grace. I hardly recognize you. I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more? What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress, but with his grace long since gone, and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do. Though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, Your Grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Titan's way. Wake is to the south of here. But we must not be hasty. The good lady has been disappointed once already.
I guess we'll go over to the Gilded Path. Yeah, we want to take the path to the left. Left. Eyes peeled, Joshua. There it is. For House Rossfield. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. We are very close to a level. Is this the Heartstone? I expect Lady Goddatha will know. Thank the Founder you were safe. The Griffin is slain then? And the Heartstone claimed. Yes, this radiant luster, like frozen flame, it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Goddatha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. 
Hearthstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as Phoenix and Shield, as brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His Grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Goditha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our Father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after Father died, Mother claimed all of the Ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the Founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Goditha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. The bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. <laughs> and we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since... since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance, and I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. Let's see if we can wear the armband.
unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political... Enemies. Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. I was hoping to uh, hop on Ambrosia, but... Guess not. Wow. It's just back there. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. We won't lay you down. Onward then? Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. So close to a level. Inches away. Let's finish up this over here. Well met. I'm going to be buying all the orchestras. Many thanks. A fine choice. Do you see that too? Papa. What? 
is it? Oh, please. Just make it stop. I'm scared. It's all right. I'm here. It's crazy looking. Let's call Ambrosia. So we're not trying to outrun an enemy and getting hit in the back. As you're trying to run away, that is. Coats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! Allow me. I don't need your... Please, uh, Field Marshal, oblige him. This won't take long. You're right. It won't. Men... Finish him. And we made it to level 48. A little longer than I'd have liked. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Fucking traitors! I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they swore. But I hadn't thought the corruption had reached so close to the heart of the Republic. It's a fucking disgrace. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. My lord Marquis, or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call me what you want. It doesn't change who I am, or the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to right the realm, and he needs your help to see it through. Before I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. What do you stand to gain from all this? I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, I know 
I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die, when it should have been our decision all along. Now, we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. I'll never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Thank you, Field Marshal. But they are not the only ones we will need to convince. What do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals, but those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words, well, we will need an envoy, one who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. You, perhaps. I'm flattered, but I'm no diplomat either. And I have other problems to attend to. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Is that so? And would he happen to be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Well, beggars can't be choosers. I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. Very well. Send your man to me right away. I shall. Uh, my lord, Marquis. Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor in Port Isolde. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Very good, my lord. Huh. An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. No. This is a job for someone with experience. Someone like Quinton. I hope I can convince him at least. Um, I think we should go this way, or from over here. I didn't know who he was going to choose, to be honest, but Quentin makes sense. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. 
How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <laughs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Portisolda. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. What's over in the hideaway? Another letter? Oh, good lordy. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. For now, let's uh, go over to Estella. Oh, I probably should have went this way. Might this be Mickleburg? These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. the call no I I came here looking for someone to be honest I I wasn't sure I'd find him here let alone all of you hmm is that so what are you doing here is this where you live it is my home the others they they heeded the call you keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves 
to the Lord. Give themselves. Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner, like me, come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the Traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. Bring us salvation. <sighs> at least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Undying duty. Excuse me, are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... tis different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go and find out what. Stay here. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? 
Ready. Die! You lose! Wake up! What now? We meet again. I've killed your kind before. Uh, I was hoping I'd have enough time. Guess not. That's funny. This thing is named uh, Tidus. Anybody that uh, has played Final Fantasy X knows who I'm talking about. Although I always called him Titus. I know that his name is Tidus, but to me, he'll always be Titus. Too slow. Alright. nice what's crazy is i'm legitimately have never changed my icons they've stayed the same through the whole game Don't 
Don't you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. By devoting themselves to the service of their lord. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in, a duty to serve was everything to me, and I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are saved. They are saved. Found her. I should get this report to Cyril. My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were. Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. 
And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Nice, we got a trophy. So we can probably... I want to say do... One more... Yeah. We'll do... That one right here. Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. After this quest, we'll go ahead and end the video. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. We're risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. Yeah. <laughs> So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Too slow. 
Stay down! Your element. Have care. Caution, brother. Caution, brother. Are we supposed to go down? I'm so confused. Minimal loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. I have a feeling we're going to be fighting something really big. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Well, at least we know where Doris is. No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. And we know where this key goes now, too. See what we can find down here. Yeah.
No, we're not going to fight a beast over here. Kind of figured we would. Sounds close. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course there were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... did... Jadwick send you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others, too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. will wreak havoc if it ever leaves the prison. I can't let that happen. Stop together, Clive. Nice try. Thank you, brother. Ramu! Ouch. Get my ass handed to me right now. Yeah. 
He wasn't too bad. I mean, he was tough, but he wasn't too bad. He's kicking my ass at first. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. <gasps> no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. We're going to fast travel over more bounties, huh? Well, we're not going to fast travel. <laughs> we're going to check out these bounties. Huh. S tier, A tier. Oh, I 
wasn't expecting you back so soon. Here you are. Genji gloves. I kind of want to see what those do. And then we're almost uh, to the Roaring Hearth or whatever it is. Not the Roaring Hearth. What the hell am I talking about? To the last little piece here. All done? You should have seen him. The thing didn't stand up. We're going to end the video, and I think in the next one, we're going to finish up, hopefully finish up the last of these side quests, and then we're going to do these other bounties, and hopefully that'll be it, and we'll be able to continue on to the main quest, because we just keep getting uh, side quest and side after side quest after side quest dumped on us along with bounties. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look up those bounties off screen and find them. And then when we come back, we'll do the side quests and then maybe the bounties. All right, everybody. I want to start by telling you all, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.